Modern Warfare 3 Zombies is out, and there's kind of an Easter egg that you can do where you can have a dog companion. And this thing is really amazing, and it's extremely powerful. Treyarch was saying that there's a secret in the mode that helps solo players, and it seems like this is what this is, because this thing is a killing machine, and it can also revive you. Also, you can level this dog up and pet it, and you will get a trophy called You Can Pet the Dog, which I think is a play on the meme about that little girl asking if she can pet the bear and saying, can I pet the dog? To call on this companion dog to help you, you have to find these burning dog houses around the map. This one here is in a church area, and these dog houses randomize. They're not always in the same spot. So far, we found three locations for these dog houses. One is up at the top right in the military base area in that church, and there's another one in this farm area. And then we found one in a tier two section in the city. Again, the dog houses are random when they show up, but when they do show up, they are always in the same location. To acquire a hellhound companion, you have to feed it chunks of flesh. And we were finding the chunks of flesh from zombies that we killed. And it seems like you have to kill them with explosive damage. We used a war machine and also an RPG, and that seemed to work. And shout out to Huli, he's the one that figured this out. But yeah, we were killing zombies with just regular bullet guns and nothing was happening. Then we started using explosives and then we started seeing the flesh. To get the hellhound, you just pick up the flesh, take it to one of the burning dog houses and feed it to it. And then the dog house will explode and you'll have a hellhound companion. This thing is extremely useful and very powerful. It does regenerate its own health, but it can get killed by like manglers and bigger boss zombies. Every time you get a new dog, it's gonna have a new name. And every time it gets a kill, you get 10 XP. Also, we were able to get a level two hellhound companion and shout out to Tag and Huli. We were grinding this out all day, trying to figure it out. I'll show you guys how we got the level two. And it looks like you might be able to get a level three and a level four hellhound. To locate the dog houses they do show up on the map but you have to be pretty close before they do show up and there is black smoke coming off the top of the dog house to help signal that that's where they're at the way we got a level two hellhound is we had already gotten one and it was traveling with us and we went into the tier two area and found another dog house the first hellhound we got we only had to feed it one chunk of flesh but the second one in the tier two we had to feed it two chunks of flesh and we had two dogs with this at this point so you can have more than one at a time the reason why i think it's possible to get a level four hellhound companion is because there are four slots when you go to feed the dog at the dog house the first one gives you a tier one then two give you a tier two. So if you gave it three or four, yeah, maybe we'll see a higher tiered hellhound, but you can't just jump right to like a three or a four. You have to get a one, then a two, and then wow. maybe the three and four. We're guessing that to get the higher tiered canines, you need to go to the red zone and find dog houses there. Right now this mode is super new, so we're still locating the dog houses, but we know where three of them are, and we're gonna keep working on this and try to find all the locations so that we can just go in and just search each of those spots and get those canines leveled up and get them in the game helping us. It's a super cute touch that Treyarch did here. And yeah, we try to get the dog every game because it's awesome. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you next video.